What's up everyone, Ronin back, and today we're going to be jumping into some more Bandmade. We're doing Real Existence, which is the official live video, and so far I've been really enjoying my time uh, experiencing Bandmade for the first time. I'm sure this song is going to be no different. Like with all the other Japanese bands I've been checking out, I'm interested in seeing where each song takes me, because it, um, from what I understand from everybody's comments and stuff, they, they take you on different journeys. So, um, so I'd like to see what sort of flavors we get into. So we're going to go ahead and just check this out. Such good energy, wow. Cool guitar riff. Wow. A lot of interesting uh, fills and time changes there, like really intricate stuff. It's really hard to to, to headbang to, to all of it. Uh, you kind of have to just, you know, take it as it comes and uh, very perilous to just try to do some air drums on the first listen because uh, <laughs> I, 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 I was definitely going to trip and fall on some of those things. But uh, that's what I was kind of laughing about earlier. Uh, but um, but yeah, and uh, there's like a little guitar effect. I, I, I'm having trouble in figuring out if it's a guitar effect that one of them is playing or if it's a synth. Uh, it's just like a couple notes that's playing uh, during certain parts. Um, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but uh, I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. And um, But uh, it sounds like we're about to get into something interesting here, though. Really cool rhythm part during that, actually. <laughs> nice.
Oh my god, dude. Shit. Where to start? I found it interesting that during that solo, uh, I was paying a little more attention to what the rhythm guitar part was doing, just because sometimes you end up writing riffs that are just plain and simple fun to play, because uh, it's kind of a mixture of there, it's easy enough to play while standing up and playing. Okay, I'll I'll start with the basics. Standing up while playing a guitar is actually a different ball game than sitting down and playing a guitar for those of you that don't play guitar. That in itself is one of the first basic skills you end up learning when you start performing. Then to be able to move around while you're playing is another ball game that puts a third access to, to what you're juggling there. I was watching that rhythm guitar player play and I was listening to what she was playing and I can kind of more or less put together more or less how it's played like not exactly but if you can get like a ballpark in there that's that's close enough to kind of imagine and and, and know that it's fun to play that's kind of like how deeply i was analyzing that uh in regards to how fun that must have been to play that part so interestingly enough i feel like the rhythm part during that solo was actually the the more fun part to play because it's easy for her and you can see her jumping around doing it so it's easy to play and you're able to move around and just let go and that's one of the things I was paying attention to and I think it's something a lot of other people pay attention to is just how fun this band has playing on stage. It's interesting too that with all of these Japanese bands I've been looking at like obviously every single member of every band is amazing and more specifically the drummers of every band really amazing drummers and it's even more amazing that I'm able to look at this particular drummer in Bandmade and think, wow, she she has something. Like she has, and it's been said before uh, by other musicians, I think even Dave Grohl said at one point, but one of the tall tale signs of an amazing drummer is that when you listen to them, you can tell it's them. I'm starting to get that with this drummer. I do need to listen to more from this drummer admittedly, because I think the only thing I'm missing is maybe if she had a particular drum tone, because that's, I think the hardest part because, you know, it's not that, I mean, plus like, I'm not mainly a drummer. I only have, you know, a few years of experience on, on drums, but, but to have a particular tone in drumming, I feel like is very, very difficult to pull off than say having a particular guitar tone because those things you can dial in. With drums, yes, you can dial in in certain aspects, but there seems to be a bit more of a broader tone that's shared amongst drummers. When she, though, the way she plays, though, is something that's more distinct with this drummer. And you can tell in just the way she does her fills, the, the offbeat things she does, the, the tempo changes, and then of course, this is gonna sound dumb, but when you see, when you're visually seeing that it's her playing, you're like, yep, yeah, that's her. You know, and then it's like, oh, well, no shit, like, it's her, like, you can see her. If I'm making any sense, it's that when you see her, it's like, oh, of course it's her. Makes sense, it's the drummer from Bandmade. Because she has that particular style of playing, and that's really what I'm getting so far. Um, I've only listened to three songs from Bandmade, so, I'm not uh, anywhere near very uh, comfortable in in feeling out every single uh, member of, of the band and and just knowing that that's them, you know. But I'm I feel like I'm already getting there uh, with this drummer. I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, at least for these few songs, they're relatively similar uh, in terms of song structure. The things that make them different and throw it off for me in a good way, not in a bad way, is the fact that they're using each member's technical ability to put in their flavor and then throw the song off in that way to keep us guessing you know there were so many little like offbeat little fills that are in there it was difficult for me to just headbang at in one in one tempo because it really wasn't that uh for the most part there was a lot of stuff going on in that song if for whatever reason one of the members gets sick on a certain day and they got to have someone stand in for them god help that person because I wouldn't want to be them to try to fill anybody's shoes in that band. I'm looking forward to checking out some more band made and I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I really enjoyed this. So, but anyway, 
uh, I guess I'll see you guys later.